Winter is a great time to work on your game, whether it's swing changes that you want to make or whether it's polishing up your short game, then winter is a great time to do it. Now, a question I get asked a lot is how do I practice the shots from 100 yards in? How do I improve those through practice so that when I get back to playing on the course, then I'm a little sharper in that area of my game? There's two important things that you need to have uh, when you're practicing those shots. One is feedback so that you know how far the ball is going. And two is randomization so that you're not hitting the same shot each time. So I'm going to do a practice session here using a FlightScope Mevo. Um, any other personal uh, launch monitor will work, something that gives you your distances that you're hitting just so that you know how far each ball is going as you're practicing. Okay, so I'm going to start off by hitting uh, three shots, um, 40 yards. So I'm in a simulator here, so I don't have uh, the benefit of being outside and seeing where um, the board is flying through the air and landing, but the technology and the launch monitor is going to help me with that. Carry is 46.7 yards. Carry is 39.2 yards. Carry is 41 yards. Carry is 39.2 yards. And now I'm going to take Carry a break and I'm going to come yards. back and I'm going to hit some shots that go 30 yards. Carry is 24.1 yards. Carry is 29.7 yards. Carry is 24.1 yards. So what's really important here is that once I've hit three shots that go the distance that I want them to go, then I'm going to switch to another distance because although I want to um, work on ingraining my 30 yard shots, for example, then I also need to change it up and randomize the distance that I'm getting because that's how I'm going to start adapting and being able to develop feel that I can apply to the golf course. Okay, so now I'm going to go to 50 yards. Carry is 51.8 yards. Okay, finally I got a bullseye with that Ready. one. Carry is 49.6 yards. Carry is 44 So whether yards. you're working on your short game inside like I am, or whether you have better weather and you can work outside, then it doesn't matter. The key is that you get feedback about how far each shot is going, and then you start switching up the distances that you're hitting. So just standing and hitting 100 balls the same distance isn't going to help you transfer that skill to the golf course. But what is going to help you is switching it up and randomizing your practice. I hope that helps your practice session. Please check out some of our other videos that will give you other ideas to improve your practice.